sip a nice tall old style. <laughs> They're too much. They're too expensive. Think of the cups. Later. All right. Hey, hey, where? Where? Oh, oh, no, I was in the last year. I'm sorry to say. No. I swear to God. Hey, hey, you want me to think about it? Yes, you know what I mean? Alright. Did you put the microphone somewhere else? Like the phone? Say hi. I know. Happy Halloween! Hold it! Happy Somebody got a beer. I wrote him a check for $125,000. That was the going rate for the state of execution. Well, the check bounced. Well, they were going to kill me. And I said, why provoke a diplomatic incident over me? Why don't you go take over the U.S. Embassy? You said, what? Hey, I was only kidding. I don't. If you want a good beer, How's it going? We're done. Hey! Do come to me! Hey, you're a, you're a star. You're a star, Eugene. A sleeping star. <laughs> I mean, come on! I mean, what is this? I mean, I mean what's this camera taking a picture of? <laughs> Me? Reset. I'm not supposed to be here.
<laughs> Is this light mic on? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Can you, my name is Bill DeWire. Uh, I've heard about the casting couch for radio TV. I'll lay on it. Isn't he wonderful? Remember, remember this face. Thank you. All right. Okay. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> to do this, but hey, you know, You're I've got to make my first million You're before I'm 28. Out. You're selling out! <laughs> Go ahead, Ryan. Is this cable? Wait. Well, Mom, see me? No, man, don't film it. Don't film it. What is going on here? Four people have been killed in the last three minutes. Five? We have official word on that.
said he could go to sleep. Put it down. Back it up. Back it up. Ow. Ow. Okay. Wait, I'm sure you guys need to Hey, they try to keep me out of the picture. Yeah, go to Southern. Thank yeah, you. Gina Ferrari. Okay. All right, right here. Okay, okay wait. There's our hand again. And I like it. Yeah. Joey, I think you played Gina Ferrari. I still see you. Okay, you ready? Look at that. Back, back. Here we are. Yeah. Southern. Right here. Hi, Mom. Would, you, would you take candy from a guy like that? Hell yeah. Would you? 
Ghost Hey man. Would you? I'll Look study at this. next week, huh? Would you take candy from a face like this? I'll study next week, man. <laughs> Listen, man. That's a good one. I'm doing well here. We gotta get some girls. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Boys and girls. Ow, see? It's bad. It's ow! Ow! It's bad. students here at SIU a chance to release all their tensions and you know it's it's really great to release all your tensions in the middle middle of the semester because you know that can really fight with a microphone you mean I've said all that sort of <laughs> I think the Carbondale celebration is incredible. Ted Baxter saying good night from Channel 8. This is Ted Baxter saying good night from Channel 8 on Channel 1. <laughs> That was one of the participants here at <laughs> Only the Best Noon. I'm glad I'm getting credit for this. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a lot of credit for this. Uh, 
And I've got a 5.0 average here at SIU. So, <laughs> how much was that? Oh, uh, 4.0. You know, really, really, these classes are pretty easy. But you know, it'd be a lot easier if I didn't get high all the time. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jerry Vitor from Tempe, Arizona, originally from Chicago. I flew 1,800 miles here just for this celebration. Crazy, right? Definitely crazy. What can I say? I, I could go on forever, but I said. Where are you from? Gentlemen, Let's hear his best. Elvis in concert will continue in a moment. Let's hear it. Okay, here we go. If you needed someone, yeah, I love you, Ma. I really do. I swear to God. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm happy here. I hear you. I hear you gotta keep the nice, camera nice. occupied. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's nice, it's nice. And I got these water shows. Hey, we're getting a little crazy this here. Would it be legal if you got, you know, a beer to sort of carry around and survey with everybody? Is it legal? Well, oh, wow. you can't help stop it though, you know? I think this guy wants to be on TV. <laughs> I, I am now. You have to see this. This is a, this is the best costume tonight. Vince will help you. Racer knocker. No, see, look at here. You got knocker head racer. It's a racer knocker. Custom. Oh my goodness, this is getting good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. TV camera and they go crazy, you know. Bunch of hams. I think it's a dog show. They're trying to take a picture of me. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. I'd like to thank my mother and father for this joyous occasion and this special moment in my life.
again. It's the truth. It's an absolute truth. And Boy Scouts, what do Boy Scouts do here? Well, they they look for old ladies. I mean, they look for old ladies. What do they do to the old ladies when they find them? Hey, come on, keep it clean. That's well, nice. That should be Bullshit. obvious. They uh, they help them across the street. I mean, that's what that's what we do. I mean, that's that's our whole. The only problem is the streets closed, so they don't have to worry about going across the street. Or do you have to? No, no old ladies. They have problems over here. You know. I mean, you, you know, you look, go out there, and oh, ladies, they got problems, and, and we, we we help them out. No, we we do, we, we help them out. How many old ladies have you met? About 17 tonight. Are you one of the old ladies? No, no, I'm a virgin. I'm good, I'm good, but I'm a virgin. I'm one of the old ladies. He bought me this hot dog. Have you heard of the joke, you know, what a man eat on Friday? No, what a priest eat on Friday? This is a registered trademark. No meat, none meat, you know, none. None me, none me. We picked that up, folks. You Definitely. Oh, we got a hello here. Excuse me. Hey, Garvey, the greatest. I want to say hi to my mom. Mom, hello for everyone here in Carbondale. Hey, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I am taking videotapes. We're getting ready to go somewhere else. Coke, no. Why are you taking videotapes? For the SPC videos, we're going to show it at SIUC. We're going to show it to the whole world down there. You aren't? Aww. Where are you from? I'm from ISU. Oh, no. Uh, what are you down here for? Partying! Oh, I thought you were down here for the rugby match. Yeah, no, but we're down here for that, too, because some of our friends are in that. Uh-huh. All right. I'm glad to see you down here. And, you, and believe it or not, the people at SIU will see you on television now. That's cool. Are you Come next week, about next week, we'll have you down there. Oh. They're getting my voice over and they're singing. Been nice talking to you. Drink Coke. It's all a part of what's going on. It's all Here in Carbondale, right now, right now in front of us was a nun, a Boy Scout. We've met Cole Maney. We've met almost everyone here that you can think of in Carbondale. Now we're going to talk. If 
if I can find the camera real quick here. The grossness. To the bouncer. Get in shape, number one. Time Sally's with you. They don't have any restrictions on them. And college places so many restrictions on you, but Everybody's everyone drinking. lets go. It doesn't make any sense. It's great. I mean, what it's, kind of monster university do you have here? You got, you've got the greatest. We're too close. You've and got too the greatest. Wild, man. Go. Give You've got the greatest. Bed. Don't. Microphone back and let's go. All right, fine. What kind of monster television station do you have here? I used to work for these people. Hello. It's a monster television station. I know it's it's, it's like a group of swirling, screaming bats around my what? face. <laughs> swirling it's a monster television station, like a a group of swirling, streaming bats around my face. Really? Yeah, it's right. That's good. Just he's good. He can make up stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not real talented. I, they have to give me lines and stuff. But I must tell you, there this was is a good. rumor that uh, I, you know I must come in. I must come in Channel no Three on one thing. But uh, upon a you're here. Rumor, I realized you're here. The other stations are afraid to be here. Why do you think we're Channel Three? What channel are they? Oh, come on. Channel rank? <laughs> Look at the outfit. You have to be Channel Three. Are you couldn't be. You couldn't be anyone else. We have to sneak away from here. All right, go ahead. There's your microphone. Hey, and thank you very stuff. much. Bye-bye. He's the devil. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to talk to a bouncer here at Hangar 9. For, uh, How do you do there? Hey, these guys want to interview me. Can I get interviewed for two minutes? I want to see you bounce somebody. If you're going to be a bouncer. Do you want me to throw somebody out? We're, we're, we're going to see an actually throwing people out. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, you can't ask for much more here at Hangar 9. The craziness continues throughout Carbondale. As we see, okay, and I'll come right out it. Obviously, this is being staged. Obviously. I want to find a cop. I want to see a bounce of cop. We 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 would like to see a policeman, a security guard of some kind. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we have to stop here at Hangar 9 since we're just outside and talk to the bouncer somewhere in the neighborhood. He's in here somewhere. As you see, another night of craziness here at Carbondale. Get out of here! Come on! Oh, seriously! You can't commit it! I'm not ready for this. Sir, how are things going tonight? I'm ready to close up shop and take out the garbage, actually. I mean, it's Looks like you got rid of the garbage already. Yeah, they're having a lot of fun. They lowered the cover, so the riffraff, everybody's just charging in out of the streets and going relatively nuts. Has your job been really easy tonight, or just what kind of job? It's a real, it's a cute pain in the I get paid three thirty-five to do this, and I'm very excited about it. Like I deal with these people, I suppose you want to come in the store. You can't come in the store. You can't go to the bathroom either. It costs two dollars. That was the bouncer from Hangar Nine. We can't ask for much more here in Carbondale. Anything can happen, and we've seen it happen. Tall people, even taller than I can possibly be. <laughs> We have to thank all of you for making this Halloween some of the best Halloween and whoa, as you can tell, it all goes down. Uh-oh. Help! Mug! Muggings! Muggings! He wants my money! You want my old lady? Okay, where is she? Oh. We thank you very much. You are now on television.
Bush. Hi, my name's Betty. I drink Bush. This is Bob. He drinks straws. We all drink Bush. Straws. Here we go. Basically, I know. Here we go. Are we having a good time here? Man. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, downtown Carbondale, Where? October 31st, 1981, Halloween. I hear you, they're doing it for you. We got one of the more rowdy, obnoxious characters on the entire street right. right here. Could you back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Now stand back, keep quiet, he's going to say a few words. Yeah, like, I just hit the street, you know, and like, it's pretty wild and pretty crazy, and uh, I thought I'd come down and flaunt my ten, you know? I think that's very fine. What if you, wait a minute, you, I understand somebody's got a joke back here. What did the drunk go? How many people here have heard of American Bandstand? All right, we need to take an opinion poll. I'll give you a text. We need to take an opinion poll. How many people think that American Bandstand should be in the Smithsonian Institute? How many people think that that's a lot of horse? Well, there you have it, Dick Clark. There you have it, Dick Clark. <laughs> Are you ready? We have a we joke. We got a joke. We have a joke. We Wait a minute, I get to hold the mic. Otherwise, I may never get it back. I'll get it. Gee, hell, oh, man, this is. This is going to be really good. We have a, we have a, we have a joke. This is a good one. Drink that. All right. This faggot goes walking into a bar. Faggot, no faggot jokes because of Bill Donahue. We cannot be any more than 40% right. faggot, we're not, we're not sex, sordid deviants on this show. We have a we just want to go nuts. Boy, brought you to Carbondale. Why are you here? Because I like to party and have a good time. You get the impression people are just basically walking around waiting for something to happen. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen. I just like to check out people. I like people. <laughs> you know what can I say? People watching people. Everybody meets yeah, here and you just come here and watch people. What have you done here that's been interesting, exciting, fascinating, and absolutely nuts? Watch girls. You're into girls. <laughs> Lake, could you stand back? This guy's got two girls. We gotta. Hey, could you separate it just to the right, sir? This guy's got two girls and he's proud. You know what I mean? Hey, Roger, could you get this guy? He came here to meet girls. He's got two of them and he's proud. Hey, have a good time. Cut. Well, here it is, gentlemen. The crowd is just about trying to thin out, and we're doing our Kerchunka Chan pans. Here you go. Oh, mic, you we're on control. top of the roof, okay? You got to understand where we're at to capture these visuals. This is Carbondale, Illinois. It's 1981. Oh, I'm People seem to be going nuts. We're going to try and focus in. We're going to zoom back out. That was a Kerchunk to the trunk. Okay, this crowd's waiting for something to happen. People are just milling about, starting to go a little nuts. There goes one of them there. And the trunk keeps going. Her trunk, people are now bumping into the trunk. You point a camera into a crowd, of, look at them. You point a camera at them and they just absolutely go bonkers. Now this is the result of alcohol being served. This is a party waiting to happen. This is an event. Something's going to take place. People are just getting crazy, jumping up and down, and they hardly know what they're doing. You notice people are standing around waiting. Pardon me, sir. Frankly, it scares the hell out of me. Chantal, Fresno, la Chantal. How you doing? Son of the night, rules, but not All right, there you go. Somebody else gets crazy on camera. Well, every once in a while, you get a basic outbreak of disturbance. But seemingly here this evening, it's about ready for a wrap-up. You've got the last chance, drunks. This is like the end of the bar. We're starting to close it down. We're waiting for police protection to arrive on the street any moment. Earlier, we've witnessed at least one arrest in which the police officer, there goes our camera again. I wonder if we're taping. Jump down and get these people talking. Jump down and get these people talking. Are you both? I'm standing up here doing a... I'm, I'm standing up here doing a marvelous commentary on the world and you're telling me to jump off this van and, and, and get crazy with people? 
Your parents, your parents, what are you, Wayne, what are you shooting now? Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the pan. Without the ka-chunky, chunk, chunk, chunk funks of our roof. Every time some idiot bumps our truck, everything goes goofy. Wayne's on the pan. If he moves his foot a little bit to the left, he's going to end up with a ka-chunky, chunk funk. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Illinois State is here. I see Illinois State off to the right, Wayne. Keep going on your pan. Just keep rolling. You just pick them up if you keep... Cruise a little faster, Wayne. This is an important shot. They all got their little uh, Illinois State shirt jackets on. Okay, other than that, things are okay. This is actually, I'm bored. Nobody's doing nothing. Nobody's doing anything. Is that the proper syntax? Live in Carbondale. October 31st is the brand new morning of All Hallows Eve. People are just having a good time. Hey, get this girl right there, right there. There you go, right there, down there. Sit the pen, get her going down the street, Richard and Sally, there they are, they're on top of the truck. They're on their way. Try and get them down there. Screw the pen, there's Sally and Richard, owners of Hangar 9, right there in front of you. Pick up that shot. How can you sit there and pan looking at that camera upside down? All right, Sally and Richard just walked by. You're nuts. I don't know how much longer I can keep up this continuing commentary. How about a little bit of ambient noise? My personal observation is sell way to sell products. You can sell these people anything, just put them on TV buying it. It's a new concept. I like it. It'll be fun. What shall we do with concepts? Who knows? Wayne's still doing his pants. He's getting crazy. Right, there go more idiots now. We got a whole crowd of idiots that are just standing down there reacting to the camera. None of them have costumes. What a bunch of uncreative dinks. Okay, we're going to ask them to yell and scream. All right, I won't. Wait, I have, wait a minute, can I have some calm here? Can I have some calm? I have no idea how I got involved. I'm completely surrounded by students. Young women are kissing me. It's great, I'm being grabbed. Nice. We got my glasses, I got them. It's serious trouble. Women, hey! Talk a little turkey about what's going on here this evening. What's happening here? You got People are me. drinking heavily. Are you serious? He's no. serious. He's dead serious. serious. It's crazy. It's wild. We got it. Come on. Come on. Pass us. Pass us some you. more questions. Hey, if I was getting paid for it, I love it. Frankly, it scares the hell out of me. Let me ask you an honest opinion, unbiased. What do you honestly think of this? I think the whole thing's nuts. I've never seen so many people just mill around and drink beer and wait for something to happen. I could understand it if it was costumes and gaiety, but people are just hanging out, drinking, meeting people, which is nice. And I'm anxious to see what happens to Halloween. Everybody's meeting people, and it's a real mellow kind of affair. All right, that's very true. Let me interrupt you for a second. All right, let's go back to the 60s, the 70s. This is the 80s, very complacent, very laid back generation people they're waiting they're waiting to just something's going to happen something has to break we've had the 70s people have walked all over us taken advantage of our rights and stuff like that this is a generation that is willing and ready to act at any time i'm talking Everybody the police uh, there is relaxed here very relaxed crowd but i'm telling you this is going to be explosive tonight i got to tell you something that you have to understand that history is cyclical things do happen when you look at the 60s you look at the 70s you make those kinds of comparisons 
comparisons, the role of political times, you end up with a Republican administration. True. What are we doing? We're arming the Russians. They have goofy things that can knock out our communication satellite. This world is a little crazy in the Europeans. Right, that's true, but let's face it now. Draft registration, etc. Well, it's true. It's true. I ain't got a light. We're talking. They, they've convinced two, three million. I got a light. You need a light? You got to compose it next week. That's true. Thanks, Steam. Relax here. Back the joint. Appreciate it. Now, two, what was that question? Two, three million people have registered for a voluntary draft. Oh, per se, not a draft. Just, just in case. Now, seriously, what did they want those names for? Was Reagan thinking about throwing a party and having too much potato salad just in case to invite us all? I mean, we've all, we all, we all registered. Now, what it is is Tupperware's got a new line of napkins, and it generates a mailing list. And it's product promotion. They can send those napkins out to all those people. You know, people try to put us down. I know you're an older man and everything. I am. I am. I am not. I'm ridiculous. I'm absolutely ridiculous. And so are you. Congratulations. Hey, I'd like you to meet two ridiculous, ridiculous guys. A very good friend of mine, Scott. We cannot not. We cannot go on the public airways. With Damn business. There you go now. You got a question? Why do you think our generation is so terrible? Well, I think you ought to all go out and get jobs. <laughs> I probably have a better job than you do, obviously. What do you do? What do you do? Mine's hell. Right here. I, I Take a picture of that. Yeah, hey, there it is. Carpenters will nail anything, buddy. <laughs> carpenters will nail anything. He's a carpenter, ladies and gentlemen. Let that speak for the mentality of carpenters. Hey, what about... Huh? That's the ending, Roger. Nice job. It's a wrap. Way to go, guy. All right, hit that closing. Just tape and roll. I'll, I'll call.